everyone. So today we are going to study about the emergency situations in the hotels. This is a very important topic as you can see in the pictures. There is, there is fire in the topmost picture. So this tells us that if we do not take proper precautions or actions at the right time, it can lead to destruction or a huge amount of devastation. So the right security personnel is very important and also the guest safety and the employee safety is very important in the hotel. So if we move further, in this particular uh, entire session, by the end of the session, you are going to learn about the safety and security introduction. We will also know about the security system's importance and how we are going to handle various unusual situations like terrorist attacks, bomb threats, robbery, theft, fire and drunk guests. Moving further to our next slide, we will know about the introduction of safety and security. So, it is a moral and the legal responsibility of the hotel to take care of its staff and the guests both. Not only guests but the staff as well. So, major, majorly the security department is responsible for the overall security of the hotel as you must have also seen in the, uh, in the hotels when you have worked or when you will go for working there. The security staff takes care of patrolling. Now patrolling is moving around in the hotel to see for any unnecessary action happening or not. So that is known as patrolling. They also monitor various equipments that are present in the hotel and also it is the responsibility of the security department to carry out mock drills related with fire safety or evacuation drills in, in case of any natural disaster like earthquake or we can say something like fire. They also handle vandalism. Now vandalism means when the guest does, the guest or a staff for that matter does an intentional destruction of any equipment or any furniture or anything in the hotel. So they handle anything which is related with vandalism. They also are responsible to take care of any terrorist attack threats or bomb threats that come to the, comes to the hotel and takes care of the prevention and fights the fire if there is any. So that's how we could learn about the introduction to safety and security. Moving further, we also need to know the importance of security system and how this particular thing works. Now the protection of the guests as well as of the staff for emergencies in case of fire, bomb threat or murder, it is very important. So the hotel also has installed metal detectors and luggage scanners to detect any kind of unforeseen activity that may take place because of not scanning the items or the guests. The hotel also provides with the double locks in the room, thus gives privacy to the guests. We also have secure luggage rooms in the hotels for the guest luggage storage so that it's not lost or the area is not accessible by the common public. Also very important to have the adequate furniture which is uh, durable and it is comfortable and it shouldn't have sharp edges or shouldn't lead to discomfort to the guest as well as the staff. The hotel also provides with the safety lockers in the back office of the front office and also electronic safes in the guest rooms. We also take care of the pest control as security personnel take care of pest control in the rooms and all the public areas so that there are no kind of bed bugs or any kind of reptiles or any mosquitoes or flies in the room in the hotel. There are section keys given to the room attendants and other people or other staff members who have room access. Those can be butlers, those can be minibar in charges, those can be housekeeping personas. So they are given section keys to only take care of a particular number of rooms present in a certain section. For example, one section of rooms may have 14 to 15 rooms. So the staff will only be given access to those 15 rooms through that section key. This avoids 
that particular staff member to enter any other room of the hotel and this will also help the hotel to reduce thefts if it is taken if it is done by the staff member also there are fire sprinklers present all over the hotel which detects high temperature and when there is a fire in a particular area the mercury in the fire sprinklers break and there is water that sprinkler sprinkles over that area now these water sprinklers cannot be at a place where there are electrical equipments so we also have to take care where the fire sprinklers or the water sprinklers of fire have to be installed last but not the least we have cctvs which is known as closed circuit televisions this captures the videos and the movement of people and staff also the guests in a particular area and we can also view these videos later on or to know about any kind of theft or any kind of an incident or an emergency which took place at a particular area so considering all these points it is very important to have the right security system in the hotel we move further to know about how to handle the unusual events or the emergency situations in the hotel so those like i mentioned before can be terrorist activities or bomb threats can be robbery and a theft fire and a drunk guest who may create a kind of problem in the public area moving to the first point which is bomb threat now bomb threat if we talk about it it can be very disastrous if the right action is not taken right moving further we will have a pictorial flow chart to know and understand what procedures should be followed when there is a bomb threat and the call is received at the telephones department we need to take out the information from the bomb bomber or the bomb threat squad at what time the explosion is going to happen and we need to extract maximum information about the bomb description where it has been installed how much time is left how and where all these things are happening the third is to identify the attacker probably with the voice that we listen we should be able to understand the age the mannerism uh, the background uh, noise if there is any and how the person is speaking to identify where and how the attackers will be Firstly if we have been able to locate the bomb through the phone call that we received we do not have to touch it or move it at all because we are not authorized bomb disposal squad members who will not be able to dispose of that bomb so we do not have to touch it because it may explode any time and as soon as possible we should try maximum to evacuate that particular area so that the guests or the staff members are not harmed also making sure that all doors and exit doors and windows are open so that maximum guests and staff can exit from that particular area so this is about the terrorist attack or the bomb threat moving further to the robbery now robbery can be uh, somebody who has come prepared uh, with the entire mask or may have arms and ammunition and may try to harm the guests as well as the staff so it is very important to use your presence of mind while any such activity occurs in the hotel so moving further if there is an attacker or a robber who has come over there you have to remain quiet and you do not have to shout there is always an emergency alarm around the front desk so which has to be pressed so that the same information is intimated to the local police station by looking at the robbers you have to identify their height probably their age their voice from where do they come what build did they have so that we can have a clear image or tell the police how the robbers look like Fourthly, when you see the robbers leaving, try and see what uh, vehicle number or the registration of the vehicle the, is there, and that can be informed to the police station through the vehicle number. We can gauge how and where the which direction did the robbers move to. Fourth, do not fifth, do not touch the areas which has been touched by the robbers because it may leave your fingerprints 
and their fingerprints will not be able to use by the police station for investigation. Moving further, take information from as much as information from the witnesses and record them into the robbery sheet or the incident report where you can note down all the information about the robber details. And we do not have to shout or we do not have to create a panic as a robber may hit or shoot us through his or her arms and ammunition. Moving further, there can be an incident of fire as there is a huge amount of cooking that happens in, in the hotels. There are a lot of restaurants. So while cooking, the, in the place can catch fire when the temperature increases and it is a matter of huge concern. So moving further, in case of fire, we do not have to use the elevators first of all. We always have to use the stairs. The elevators may get stopped and the fire may be catched by the elevators. So it will lead to nothing but death. Also, we have to stay very calm and do not panic and we do not even have to create a stampede in that particular area. Also, prof, uh, probably please try and switch on the fire alarm if there is around you so that everybody is warned and uh, is vigilant that there is a fire in this place and they can evacuate at the right time. Use a fire extinguisher. Like we, I mentioned before, the security guards give us the fire extinguisher training. But if you are not well versed with fire extinguisher usage, please do not use the extinguisher. Only the right person who knows which and what uh, uh, fire extinguisher to be used should only be used. Next, call the local fire brigade so that they can come and uh, uh, the, the fire that is taking place can be controlled by the right brigade, which is the fire brigade. Also, being at the uh, telephones department, we should be calling up at various room numbers so that they can evacuate their rooms or the public areas because the fire travels very, very fast. And to control that fire, we have to turn off the gas and all the electrical equipments in that particular area and to avoid any kind of a further spread. Also, I would like to mention many hotels have fire sensing doors. When there is a fire or a high temperature, they automatically those doors start closing down and which doesn't uh, uh, lead to a further spread of fire. So there is fire only at a particular place which can be controlled. The spread is reduced due to those uh, fire resistant doors and also uh, the doors which are uh, uh, taking care of uh, uh, the guests by detecting the high temperature of fire and so they close down by themselves and this prevents further spread of the fire. Moving further to the last but not the least, the drunk guests. Now, if a drunk guest is there in a public place, that guest can be of a huge trouble and also may embarrass the other guests or also the staff in that particular area. So, it's, it's a huge amount of uh, embarrassment for the hotel staff. So, what we have to do is, we do not have to argue with the guest. We can discuss with the guest, but we will not fight or argue with the guest. And it is recommended to politely remove that drunk guest from the hotel lobby or we can say the public area and take him to the back office. Also, we can escort him to an isolated place where there are no other guests because if the drunk guest is going to shout or create a ruckus over there, he or she is going to attract many other guests. So, it creates a wrong impression. So, it is important to isolate that particular guest. If the guest is unable to hear you or is fighting with you or is moving his arms or his legs with you, it is important that we call the security there and then to, to take care of the further matter. And it is very important to remain calm. That guest is a tipsy guest. Tipsy guest means he's a drunk guest. He's not in his senses. He is going out of control. You being into your senses shouldn't go out of control. So it is important to remain calm. Also, if the guest 
is an in-house guest staying in the hotel. It is important to escort the guest to his room and make him sleep over there. And we do not have to uh, uh, make him go out of the hotel. Probably it's important to just remove that guest from the public area where he or she is creating embarrassment. So it is important to lead the guest to the right place. Probably if he's an in-house guest, it, he or she should be moved to his or her room. And uh, if the guest is a non-resident guest and not staying with us, the security personnel can further take the matter. And uh, probably we can call in his family or somebody to take care of him further if there's nobody around him. Thank you so much. That was all from my end. I hope you will enjoy this particular video. Uh, thank you very much and looking forward to bring more uh, videos and sessions for you all. Thank you again.